<laughs> Look, so we want to get right into it. So, uh, did y'all watch Love and Hip Hop last night? Oh my gosh. I did. I heard it was ratchet. It I was... heard some ratchetness in there. It was a lot of ratchetness, okay? A lot of ghettoness. So I want to get started with talking about uh, Joe Button and the situation we were talking about last week. Now, um, we touched bases with what the um, what the uh, source from MTV was saying in the interview from 2006 mm -hmm. that he was, you know, using drugs and he had an addiction. So he does admit in last night's episode that he had, he's, you know, he had a problem. Right. So he actually comes out and says that he has relapsed. Oh, wow. So, this is why, you know, when we were talking about, oh, he was starting shit and stuff. Okay, this is why. And he Because he, he, right, because he relapsed. Okay, that makes sense now. He explained, he apologized that, you know, um, he's not his self. Um, and when he, when he's using, and he tends Naturally. to hurt friends' Naturally. relationships when he's doing drugs. <laughs> Excuse me. So, this was probably the uh, situation of why he instigated the entire thing of truth or truth with uh, Rocky and Tahiri. Yeah. Because At his, he was drugged up. Okay. He clearly was drugged up. He said he was having his 27th birthday party and you're clearly 33. <laughs> that right there shows that it was a little bit of... He's hallucinating, going. okay? <laughs> a little bit of hallucinations going You're on. hallucinating. You're not 27 <laughs> anymore. But, you know, good luck to you and your... Uh, and, in your recovery. So Hey guys, he, by the way, do you like how we're matching? Yeah, you we like do match sometimes. We do that. That's how you know, we do. That's what we do. <laughs> so So he he sits down with his mom and he says, you know, he really thinks he maybe he needs to actually have a talk with Rocky about the entire situation due to the fact that he did blow up at her. Right. Now, previous to this, right before this, he got together with Rocky and then he was doing a sound check and he was high again. Wow. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he blew up at her. Mm. He blew up at her, started screaming all up in her face and everything. And she was just like, okay, that's just out of here. Like, and she just beat it. And she was like, basically, F you, all this other stuff. Right. And he was like, whatever, and went on about his business. That's why he went and talked to his mom. Like, you know, he's got a problem because him and Rocky's been cool for years. Wow. So for him to be blowing up at her, right. at basically his BFF. That's right. like me snapping out at you, and she's looking like, wait, what is going on? And it's just like, he knows it's an issue because, you know, he's losing friends, mm -hmm. very close friends now, due to his uh, drug problems. So, good luck to you and your recovery. Yes, you got to get that together. You I have mean, to. He said he had been 15 years clean. That's a long time. That is a long that's time. That's a very long time, and then the relapse after that, I know that's kind of hard. For 30 something, he's been doing drugs since he was a teenager. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, good luck to you. So... He sits and has this talk, and then Rakeem meets up with his girlfriend, his current girlfriend right now, and she's only 20 years old, and she feels as though she could help him, she could fix him, she could save him, and, you know, the issue is she's upset that they're having this whole beef and everything, she wants to get that situated. She's a real cutie, too, like, Aww. I like her. Actually, like, she's a little sweetheart, like, Aww. she left her family and everything, and she's up there supporting him, taking care of him while he's actually taking care of her. Mm -hmm. So, then they get into this whole situation where, you know, uh, besides that, we go into meeting rapper Consequence and also his, I don't know if this is fiance or not, but it's his baby mom, Jen, and okay. she's got a rock on that hand, so uh -oh. I think I think they're engaged. Right. Now, he is Muslim, so I don't like him. So I like him. And <laughs> so he wants to definitely, he <laughs> he's got this whole thing with her, like, you now her name is Jen Penn. She's a celebrity blogger, and she also was doing a radio. Now, he, at one point in time in their relationship, he had, had they got a, a one-year-old together now. His name is um, Amir Mills. I forgot what his first name actually is, but okay. middle name is Amir, uh, last name Mills. Okay. So then they're planning this birthday party. His issue with her, which I kind of like it a little bit, but then not really. You know, he's like, you're not going to be spending up all my money. I'm not giving you my card. No. Like, he, he's not taking the traditional rapper approach, like, here's the card, spend the money. He's like, mm-mm. And she's like, if he's driving an effing Bentley. He's got plenty of money. Okay. That's crazy. Girl. That's a little he, crazy. He told you to quit your job back in the day. Now, that's probably because you was pregnant. And then she claims, you know, she quit her job because of him. He went out there. He said, no, you got fired because you hit your boss's car. She said, but that was right after you told me to quit. There's no excuse for this, <laughs> Go get it. And then, second excuse. That's crazy. Second excuse. Um, she was like, I gotta, I gotta take care of a child and go to work. And he's like, plenty of mothers are doing this today. What are you talking about? And he got help. She got help from him. Get your life together, Jen. Like, come on now. Like, I kind of like her, too. She's kind of sweet, but I think she's a gold digger. 
she lets him know that um, the community and the way that she grew up, that you give me an allowance, that's how the women get. They get an allowance, a certain amount of spend, and that's what they do. They don't work. Mm-hmm. He was just like, I didn't grow up in that community. She's like, I did. And they're going through this whole thing about this one-year-old's birthday party. First of all, Jen, he's Muslim. We do not celebrate birthdays. So we do celebrate birthdays. Not like, not how she wanted it. Yep. She wanted Maybe the characters, it. renting the venue, and then the mail the people. It kind of got out of hand to where he said, "No, you pay for the characters." The list got to be too much. I agree. Say yeah. Sometimes, and especially at a one year old's birthday, it's a one year old's birthday. It could get out of hand, and I can see how that could happen. Yeah, like she wants to really, whatever, have this large. Well, what is he talking party. about? He's not going to give her an allowance. Oh, no, he's not. She's got her own credit card that she lives off of. And she's like, but if you pay the bill, he's like, use your credit card, but you got to put the money in the bank and pay. I think she's got a debit card and he puts the money on it. Whatever. So she kind of wants to go back to work. Go, good for you. Go go back to work. She was she met up and she was talking to Winter. Saying, so what the heck is going on? I mean, he's not giving her a freaking allowance. What the hell is going on? They, that not really, but she, but I, he is. You know he is. Yeah, he is. She's not working. Yeah. She's not working. She oh meets up with talking about? She meets up with Winter, which is fabulous. She, Winter is also in the cast and also a friend of Tahiri. She's Fabulous's assistant. Mm-hmm. Winter is truly ratchet. She is she? Said, Ooh, listen. She says, she was just like, she's writing a book. It's a tell-all. You know how she used to deal with, I don't know. She said Fat Joe, Irv Gotti, Jada Kiss, all this other stuff. She was just like... Um, I've known them, I've worked with them, I slept with them, I know the baby's moms, the wives, and the girlfriends. You slept <laughs> with them? I was did like, you? did she just slip that out? Like, <laughs> right. ain't no shame in her game, you better get them when they're like... I mean, I guess, sheesh, I mean, since you all, you know, hey, hey, full speed ahead. She said Jadakiss it. told her to write this book. Jadakiss, though? He told her to write this book. She slept with Jadakiss? She says she knows them, she's worked with them, she slept with them. She, she was like, I know them, I've worked with them, I worked for them, I slept with them, I know their, their baby moms, their wives, their wifey, and their girls on the side. She slipped that one in. She slipped that one in. I caught it, I heard you say it, Winner. You slept with them, okay? Power to you, okay? She, she tried to slide that in. She did, I heard it. So, like, whatever. But um, And then, oh God. Besides that whole thing. So she's writing a book. She told Jen to write a book too. And you know, because Jen does, she got a little juice and a little gossip. And she knows a lot of the insights and stuff that's going on. And a little background for you. If you guys don't know who Consequence the rapper is. Consequence, um, he's a ghost writer. He's wrote for Kanye. He slipped Beyonce up in mm-hmm. there. Uh, and, a, and a lot of other people. Like, you know, he's just a behind the scenes ghost writer. And he's official. Like, he's got mis- mixtapes out and everything. Okay. Then we get into this Erica, Mena, Olivia, and Rich situation, which completely just wore me out. I'm so exhausted and drank with uh, um, Erica, Mena. She's annoying. She meets up with this girl, uh, Layla, she didn't even or Lily. In the last episode, she didn't even know the freaking other girl's name or whatever, and she just went completely ratchet at her. I thought that was so freaking ridiculous and stupid. I mean, like, what the hell? Remember they start fighting or whatever? She was like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm this person or whatever. She was like, yeah, you know, she does... um. Uh, what do you call it? Spreads and things like that too. She was like, "Oh yeah, do you? Do you? Are you talking about last season? Um, with uh, um, uh, what was her name? Kim Bella? Yeah, last season. That was so hard. Yeah, she claimed she knew her. She knew of her because oh, she taking money out of her pocket because she doing shit for free. Well, ain't you doing shit for free? Because I saw you kick your baby dad in the neck. Okay, Raul from Terror Squad. So that's who it is. Now everybody was saying that she's got a, a child with Chris Stork. Uh, Chris Storch? No. It's Chris Storch? Chris Storch. No, she doesn't. She was engaged to Chris Storch, and I did my um in, my uh, little investigating on this. Now, why she does have a child with him is because they were only engaged when she was in Miami, working at uh, Dash Miami. So they were engaged. Now, uh, he just lost his $10 million home down there, went to foreclosure, and the bank took it. Mm-hmm. Because he spent um up to, his insiders were saying he spent up to $30 million on recreational drugs, probably with Erica. Probably, probably. Renting yachts and partying and everything else. And this is what happened with that whole situation. So, question is, did he get Erica Mena um, hooked up on, 
and put it out there like that? Is that why she you had know, that huge vial that Khloe Kardashian found? Exactly, and that's probably why she's acting as crazy as she is because she's always high. It's a it's a um it's a known side effect and reaction of cocaine is mm-hmm. people get angry and start snapping out. Okay, get yourself together, Erica, and really? seek some help because now she's snapping out. She and she gets this girl Lee Lee Lele whatever the light skin chick is. She says she is the hottest rapper in the game. Girl, I don't even know your name. I've never heard of you. Um, who are you? I tried to Google you. I couldn't even wiki you. Like, like, but she's so hot. That's how she came out. I'm such and such. Lee, Lee, Lay, Lay, Leah, whatever. I'm the hottest rapper in the game. Since when? Okay. <laughs> Either way, she wants to do a song with, um, with Erica Mena. And, um, Rich is like, Rich Dollars is like, she's a nobody. Like, two, basically, in layman's terms, two nobodies can't make a somebody and it's not going to work. He said, y'all going to wind up like pants on the ground. <laughs> a joke so that whole situation they get into this huge argument because she keeps going on about it after Erica is ready to leave the club and Rich is like what's going on what is wrong with you whatever and she's just like okay well you know I'm ready to go I'm ready to go and then she was just like well why are you so hyped the chick the, this known rapper Lee 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 nobody so uh so she goes oh well, she, well Erica's like she keeps going on and she was like you just keep on a- antagonizing the entire situation so, basically, they get into this. She was just like, oh, calm down. You just so hype and all this other stuff. And then she was just like, so what you gonna do? Kick him in the neck like you did your baby daddy? That was that was a blow at Erica. Yeah, it was a blow. It was a blow, and I didn't appreciate that. Like, you mad because now they not gonna do the record with you? You so hot, you shouldn't even be pressed about it. Mm-hmm. Whatever. So, Erica went off on her, and she let the truth. that bitch, you're insignificant, and bitch, I'll kick you in the neck. <laughs> okay, like I did my baby daddy. My baby daddy. You were talking about baby daddy. She got all hype and crazy and hopped into one of them town cars and beat it the hell out of here. I said, I'm I'm about sick and tired of her. And then how she, she just goes through the roof. She goes through the freaking roof with hers. Like Yeah, she don't snap out. She blows completely up and yeah. loses her mind like exactly. every time. Exactly. <laughs> don't she? <laughs> I'm not second tired of her. Like it's ridiculous. Every situation, every episode. You're a mother. You're supposed, and that's what the chick leaving. Right. She was like, "You're supposed to be a mother, and you're acting like this." Like, yeah, right. That's the, about the best thing that she said in this ep- this entire thing. Like, yeah, she is supposed to be a mother. She is supposed to be being an example and setting an example for mothers, and you know, for whatever kind of child she got, if it's a boy or a girl, you know, that all this ratchet and rowdiness, you can't do that. This is not real life, okay? Right. Real life, we do get mad, we get upset, but you need to be able to contain that and get that together. Because don't nobody even want no hype model. Look at um Miss Naomi Campbell. We all love her to death, but people are afraid to work with her because she'll beat you with her Blackberry. <laughs> and that is a known fact. It's like, you, you, you got to take precaution with her. And you're just trying to make it. You're doing all these hood, you're doing basically urban modeling. Mm-hmm. You'll never get to mainstream because of that attitude. Yeah, that they attitude got videos is of you. totally. You yeah. on this show showing all this wretchedness every every season, every episode. Now you fighting and arguing with somebody. You getting up, walking out. You snapping out. You kicking people in the neck. I'm going to need for Erica Manning to get some anger management and some and rehab. Yeah, totally and immediately. immediately. Immediately, yeah. Her, in fact. This is the episode of Rehabs. This is what we need to do. Her and Joe Button need to get together and go seek out Dr. Phil, Dr. Drew. And don't take any drugs before you go. <laughs> or slip any in there when you or go. Or slip any in they there. They need Come to be on, on Celebrity Rehab. This is what we're going to name this episode. Celebrity Rehab mm-hmm. instead of Love